Hello, I'm Rene Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Okay, um, I'm going to be installing the smart light bulbs. Um, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, if it's Orian or Orain. I got these on Amazon. Uh, they do say that they are Apple Home compatible. Uh, for a four pack, they were $23.91, which is uh, for RGB light bulbs, that is a very good price. Um, uh, for four of them, and uh, it took they, it was free shipping through Amazon Prime, but it took nine days to arrive. It wasn't a qualifying for the two day shipping. Okay, so let's get right into it. Yeah. These are the bulbs there, and those are the key codes I would be using. That's the card, this operating manual. Okay, these are the QR codes that correspond to the um, QR codes on the light bulbs. Okay, now the instructions have the uh, stickers to scan in the bulbs. Uh, the ones I placed in my uh, ceiling lamp are the three that you see. This last one covered by my thumb is not currently in use. But it okay, I'm going to launch Apple Home. And uh, add accessory. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the first of the bulbs. And that was this one, 289251293. And uh, for its name, well, it's interesting. I can have it identify uh, which light bulb it is. If I was confused as to which of those light bulbs it is, I can hit identify, and it identifies it. And I already know previously that one particular one is the one I labeled as bulb one. I like that when I arrive home, turn on, uh, when I leave home. I'll, I'll leave that one off simply because in the lab I like to keep one of the lights on if anybody needs to come down here to go through to get to the laundry room. And I alternate which one, so I'm going to not leave that that way. Okay, that light is added. And enable the auto updates. Okay. I'm going to go for this one now, I guess. Okay, I'll do an identify on it. Okay, it's the one I thought it was. Okay, and that one I know previously I labeled as bulb two and add a third one now it's bulb three and the last one is the one I called desk So I'll give it the same name here. And this one can go on and off. 
as I leave. And now I'm going to group bulbs one, two, and three and call it a lamp. That way I can give a command to lamp and it affects all of them at once or I can address them individually. Uh, press and hold on the name and then when it says accessory settings I'm going to go there and see it says group with other accessories. That's what I'm going to add it in with uh, the other three bulbs and I'm going to call this one lamp. Done. Okay. So now I can give a command. Siri, lamp off. Siri, lamp on. Siri, desk on. Siri, desk off. Okay, it is responsive, not real time, but it does respond. I'll turn that lamp on, uh, desk back. Siri, desk on. Okay, I notice on here I could add different colors. I mean, I can manually uh, set their colors there, but I'm wondering if I could do it by by just voice command. Siri, desk orange. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Look at that. I'll start again. Siri, desk white. Siri, desk green. Siri, desk blue. Siri, Desk dark blue. Maybe you can't <laughs> differentiate uh, that way. Siri, desk white. Siri, lamp blue. Siri, bulb one red. Siri, bulb two green. Siri, bulb three white. Siri, lamp white. <laughs> I'm loving this. One other thing I want to illustrate is just brightness level. Siri, lamp at 25%. Siri, lamp off. Siri, bulb one at 60%. And that's what I do when I uh, head out for work is I leave one light bulb dimly lit enough to, to provide lamp if any light if anyone needs to come through to the laundry room. But you know, conscientious of energy usage and really extending the life of these smart bulbs. Okay, so there you go. If you want to um, really discriminate a lot uh, with features, I believe there's more in AI Dot. Um, but as you saw, the Apple Home interface is very good. And I've done this before with some other, um, uh, another light bulb. And if you wanted to control colors, you had to do that um, through the app. You couldn't do that through Apple Home. But this one does. It's functional as you see there. And I am loving it and glad to, again, uh, have working smart bulbs again in my lab.